2013 63 plate Honda VFR 1200X Cross Tourer DCT with the dual clutch automated transmission. We have a full set of Honda OE luggage. And we've got these Bodis aftermarket sort of racy sport silencers. The bike has got two keys. One is a genuine Honda, one is an aftermarket spare. We also have the bike running with that spare key, so it works. And the bike's in really nice, tidy condition. There are a few marks, and I'm going to show you every mark I can find as I go around the bike. So we've got a standard Honda screen. A couple of marks, stone chips and from cleaning, but there's no damage. No cracks or anything on it. Then coming down to the front panel, headlights in good condition, no cracks, no chips. There's a little bit of a clouding inside there, but that's to do with temperature change between indoors and outdoors. And that will pass the MOT, no problem whatsoever, it doesn't affect any beam. A few little stone chips on the beak here. But again, there's no cracks, there's no damage. We've got this high level sort of crash bar that runs underneath from side to side. And you've got fog lights mounted on them. And again, no signs of any damage on the fog lights. Front mud guard, no signs of any damage. And it's got this sort of carbon effect vinyl overlay I assume to help protect with stone chips. Front tyre, excellent condition. All its shape and loads of life. It's got these really cool spoke wheels where the spokes come out to the outside, same as you get on a BMW R1200 GS. It allows it to run tubeless tyres but it also allows you to adjust each spoke one at a time if you need to without taking all the tyre off. Rims are in good condition. There are a few marks in places. Obviously the bike is a 2013, but overall good condition. It's an AVS model. Front brake discs are in good condition. Forks look in good condition. And in there I can see an RNG guard on the radiator. We've also got a front fender extender. And then looking at the headers, they look in tidy condition. Can't see any rot there. Obviously on the front of the engine, you've obviously got signs of use, signs of wear. Radiator. I can see a little few chips of paint on the outer edge, uh, but the radiator looks completely solid. You can't see any signs of rotting or anything like that, so there's nothing to be concerned about. This crash bar extends all the way down here, there's no signs of any damage. Panel beneath it, this is a sort of compass, sort of effect vinyl of uh, the world on there. That's all in nice condition and this metallic black paint underneath. No damage at all to this cross tour logo either. No damage to the end of the indicator. We've got Givy hand guards. And they're in nice condition with RNG bar ends. No damage on them. No marks on the end of the mirror or the mirror glass. A few little points, so we've got metal mirror stems and just see in a few places underneath the metal there's just a few lines so i don't know if that's the uh the start of a little bit of rust underneath the paint can't see any break in the paint at all so looking at the cockpit nice and tidy condition everything works as it should these are standard bar setup it looks like you've got bar risers and you get a very 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 tall 
long throw, so it's a very, very comfortable position. And then this is the DCT. So if you're not familiar with it, you have neutral, drive and sport. You don't have a clutch, lever. This is a handbrake. And then you have an option to change down gear there. And up gear, there's another button just there. It changes gear quicker than you can believe. Uh, and in truth, when you're using it, if you put it in drive, most people, if you put it in drive, would think it changes gear very quickly. You know, by 30, 35 miles an hour, you can be in fifth or sixth gear. If you put it in sport, to be really honest, I think most people would think the bike's in pretty much exactly the same gear that they would be in for any given circumstances anyway. So it's, you know, once you learn how to use it, it's actually a really, really nice gearbox to use. And the paddles are incredible. You go into a corner, and say you're in fourth gear and you want to hit second gear really quick, you just dab this lever twice, before you even blink, you've already changed gear. And we've got Honda OE heater grips on here. This is a SW Motec tank bag ring. So if you've got an SW Motec tank bag, that will clip straight on. If you haven't got one, the bike doesn't come with one, but if you haven't got one, we can supply one if you wanted one. Got these carbon effect HRC tank pads. We haven't put these on, so I've no idea what's underneath, but I've got no reason to believe there's any any damage. Tank is all in nice condition. I can't see any stone chips. I can't see any any scratches other than you know, what you'd expect from normal use and cleaning. This is a sort of a tank pad that's built in a standard. Seats in nice condition. No damage at all there. Engine's all in good condition. Tiny little bit of oxidisation underneath the paint, just starting there. And the exhaust, nice condition all the way through. And then you've got the centre stand on this bike. Rear brake pedal looks absolutely fine. So does the rider's foot peg. So does the passenger foot peg. And there's no signs at all of accident damage, which we see if there's been an accident damage, we see these rounded off. And we've got these really cool looking sort of shotgun exhaust bolded Bodis silencers. All the rear linkages all look good. Single sided swing arm on this. And again, the rear wheel. Some marks, but generally very tidy again. We'll change the rear tire. The rear tire's in good condition, but it doesn't match the front. It's not really fitting with an adventure bike. So you've got a Pirelli Scorpion Trail 2 on the front in nice condition. We'll put a matching tire on the back to match that. Panniers are all good condition. Um, they have got marks on them. Pretty much every pannier we ever see it's come out of its original box, it does get marked, but it is tiny. The top box, at some point in its life, I would guess has had a backrest on. Some people love them, some people loathe them. This doesn't come with one. And this has an option, it has a zip on it, where you can actually extend the top box. up on a sort of a bellows system perhaps to put your crash helmet in if you're getting somewhere once you've got some like rear brake disc again looks fine all the swing arm is fine there's a, an RNG rear hugger on the bike as well this pannier, the same as the other side, has a few marks, but generally speaking, nice condition. So no 
little stone ship there. Generally the tank's all in nice condition. On this side of the engine, nice and tidy. Very little mark there. And we've got a little mark on that engine mark too. If I had to guess, I'd guess it's been dropped over and picked straight back up because there's no signs of crash damage at all. Rider's foot peg is good, pillion foot peg is good, and again, the foot peg hangers, no signs of any, any slide damage at all. Again, handguards in good condition, so is the RJ bar end. There's a graze on the back of this mirror. Perhaps this is from the uh, drop on the side there. But it's completely functional. All the mirror glass is good. Indicators got no mark on at all. All this black metal, pa uh, black plastic panel stickers have no mark on at all. All the foreplay from the bright disc on this side, they're all reflected to the other side. So overall, really nice condition, has got a few marks that I've shown you, but other than that, really nice and clean. It's in our showroom now, in Sittingbourne, Kent, we're in from Tuesday to Saturday, 9am to 5pm. If you've got any questions, please give us a call.